I've been in these situations where people just say no to me and I've always wondered why. So anytime I give any type of judgment, I try to say why and try to give constructive criticism on top of that. So thank you for receiving that. And I appreciate you guys so much. For real. I want to ask you a question, not to shift, but I want to I want to ask you a, an exclusive behind the bar question. I don't mean to say behind the bar because he didn't ask me to say that, but I'm asking you behind the bar. There was yeah. a reason um, tribute for your father and you guys were not there. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about that? You don't have to say nothing. You're not. Well, you guys were not there. Uh, no, normally, normally I would say stuff, but recently, uh, sort of recently, I came out with a post that anything regarding Terror Squad, my father, Joe, anything in that situation, I'm no longer answering questions in that world because it seems, and this is just my perspective and it's also my experience, every time I open my mouth to even speak, whether it's bad, whether it's good, and I never, even, I never say anything bad. I've always been humble in my approach. And even, even when I'm telling my story and my experiences, if it has anything to do with my father or anything like that, I get massive backlash. I get a lot of love, but I get massive backlash, especially behind the scenes and industry-wise. So it, it gets difficult to talk about it because no matter what I say in this situation, uh, some people are going to agree or some people's going to look down upon it. It's going to cause more, you know, issues. And um, these, you know, so I, I respect the question. I appreciate it, but there's no way for me to answer this without yes. getting death threats, without getting and not and not from the parties involved but there's just people who make fake accounts and they just come at me all day and my family and all this shit. and it's like should i deal with behind the scenes of just even ever speaking about this and so if it's up to me i just want to speak about chris rivers what i got going on anytime i try to speak about shit that i rightfully should be able to speak about it just Man. creates problems so and guess you know, what? it is what it is so. thank you thank you for saying that you said enough i didn't mean I almost feel bad. For no, no, no. It's all love. I, 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 I explain in interviews. I always get asked questions like this, and no, I always try to answer well, this it. Is not an and I this did is it for the last. Yeah, no, no, of course. And but for the last fifteen years, I always answered it. But for the last like about I think one year, I, I've been saying it like no, there's no more, no more questions like this. I'm answering because yeah. no matter what no, I say, like yeah. I say, it just, it just, it just sorry, turns yeah. around and and yeah. I, I almost, yeah. I almost but but I appreciate it. But you know, no, no, it's love. It's love. You moved away from that shadow, remember? I said, Yeah, I yeah, that's what right. you do. I need my own alert, alert. I appreciate your hustle, you know, like, and I just felt no. like because you were here, I wanted to ask that question, but you know, I, I try to be as constructive as I can. And I know it's I've like been that. in these situations, yeah, I've been in these situations where people just say no to me, and I've always wondered why. So anytime I give any type of judgment, I try to say why and try to give constructive criticism on top of that. So thank you for receiving that. And I appreciate you guys so much. For real.